Welcome everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to be playing Immortals of Avium. Avium? Avium? You know what? I'm not entirely sure how to say that, but until I know for sure, like they say it in game or something, I'm just going to go with Avium, because I think that sounds better to me. Or it might be Avium. No, I think it's Avium. Anyways, we're going to be playing some Immortals of Avium. I'm really excited for this game. I remember whenever they did the presentation for it, like, I think, was it... It wasn't E3, they don't call it E3 anymore, like, whenever they do all the presentations for games upcoming and everything. But whatever the presentation was, I remember seeing this game, I was like, okay, it looks really cool. And then I saw a couple more trailers, and then I watched, like, an EA Early Access video, someone playing a little bit of it, like, the first, like, 20 minutes of it. it looked really fun. That was a while ago that I watched that, though, like, six months ago, I think, or something like that. But anyways, I'm kind of rambling at this point. I'm very excited for this game. I know very little about it. I just know that there's something about Immortals, of course, from the title. Um, we're also, like, a magic castery like battle mage type person or something like that and the game's kind of like a first person shooter style magic game which is right up my alley because i love fantasy i love magic -y attacking games where you use all sorts of different spells and whatnot however i'm not very good at first person shooter type games i'm kind of hit or miss with them hey, no pun intended um so this could go either way i don't really know i might be really good at this i might be really bad at this i'm just really excited to play it i'm gonna have a lot of fun with it and i hope you guys enjoy watching it so that's pretty much all i have to say about that and we're just gonna get right into it. Like I said, I don't know anything about this, so story-wise, I am going in completely blind because I've been trying to avoid more spoilers on games lately. But I've also been noticing too, a lot of companies don't like really show too much about their games anymore, really. They just kind of show the title a lot and then like the same gameplay loop over and over again. Maybe with slightly stuff added on and whatnot. But yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, what's this? Um I don't have an EA account for this one, so I'll just accept the user stuff? Um, huh. Yeah, I don't... I was about to say, yeah, can I play offline? Because I don't have an EA account for this setup at all yet. I'm going to probably do that at a later date. I'm not really concerned about playing online on this game anyway, so we're just going to play offline for now. Good, it has an offline option. And more user agreements and stuff. Yes, continue. Yeah, wasn't it like, um, let me adjust the screen size for this. There we go. Well, that's weird. It's not like taking up the full size of my monitor for some reason. That's weird. Okay. Um, I don't need a colorblind mode. But anyways, wasn't it like, uh, I need definitely large subtitles, please, because I can be pretty blind. Um, medium or large, medium or large. Man, the music is loud, and I have my mic turned like, way down, but it's still really loud. Um, large might be a little obnoxious, but I like being able to read everything, so we're going to go with it. Um, one cinematic subtitles, I want them on during that, during conversation. We'll also do gameplay ones. I want subtitles for everything, because like I said, I usually miss stuff where if I, you know. Anyways, what I was saying was, I think it was the Dragon Age games, the Dragon Age Inquisition, I think was the one that it was like you couldn't play unless you were logged in online or something like that, I think. Yeah, I remember there was something being with it where it was like, I was trying to play and it was like, I couldn't the day it came out because the servers got overloaded or something like that. At least I think so, or it took forever to log in or something. So was that all of the settings? Um, uh, no, I don't want to lose. What? I didn't even hit... What? Um, I think... What the heck is going on? Thank you, that was weird. Like, I got stuck in a menu. Okay, that's not a good sign already. Um, I'm just making sure that everything I went through... I might have to adjust the music volume at some point, because I'm not kidding. The music is so blaringly loud. I'm probably going to edit it a lot in post to, like, turn it down and whatnot, but man, was it, like, in-your-face loud. Um, I think this is all okay. Like I said, I think we already messed with all this stuff, but I just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything I was forgetting, because sometimes they hide, like, a little secret thing somewhere. Okay, good. No, it looks like it's all good. So, let's begin. Um, apprentices for casual players... Doo -doo -doo. Magnus is recommended, Valus experience, immortal, difficult challenge. We're going with Magnus. Like I said, I'm not great at first-person shooters, but I don't think I need to be on the easiest difficulty, but I we hopefully can change this later in case something goes wrong. But I, like I said, I, I'm not too bad. I'm generally pretty good at most games. At least I like to think I am. <laughs> I could be completely wrong on that. So far the game looks gorgeous. That's something I gotta say. It's very pretty. There is a wound in our world. Okay. At the center of Avium. The wound grows larger by the day, threatening to swallow all of the five kingdoms. Well, that's not good. Our rulers ignore this as they wage their ever war, fighting over the control of magic. 
The powerful Magni, wielders of magic, lead their armies in an endless doom cycle. Magni, Magni? Huh. If there is hope, it will not come from them. Okay, so we know there's a war, five kingdoms, magic, avium, Magni, Magni, however you say that. Ah, yeah, see, those are basically keywords. I kind of like that. Highlight the words that are most important for us to kind of remember. And then silence. <laughs> The braided lords of Celtus surrender. Their magna burned alive as they watched. Stripped of magic, the armies of Glavegate fell. To Sandrak, the bold and terrible tyrant of Rayshan. They called him their ruler, as he was of east and west. And the horns of their ancestors trumpeted blood. Protest. Hardcore. Hush. Passage to the sands of Oroman was secure. The Sky Islands. Careful. Ever I'm being careful. With winged as careful as last time. Careful, uh. And the wound That's not a word. Declaring the Magni of their order now vanished. Damn, you think Sandrak really talks like that? I'm concentrating. Maybe he bores his enemies to death. I'm concentrating. But mine. But I am not. But I am not. The men content to simply wonder. I am. I'm wondering every third word. Distracted. Go, go, go. No one cares about Arce Norman. Hold it up. Sandrak's coming our way. Got it. Let's go. The ladies, gentlemen, everyone please take your seats. Hey, wait up. Luna. Over here, Jack. That was actually pretty funny. That was a pretty funny opener. Okay, wow. I It has been a long time. I think since Ghostwire Tokyo was the last time we played a game like this with this kind of view. Okay, so follow Luna. Okay, just make sure. Nothing for us to activate. Okay, cool. Right, this is going to take a little getting used to. Like I said, I don't play a lot of games with this viewpoint. Not that the games like this are bad. It's just I'm not generally very good at them. I do like them a lot, though. Like, I really like Dishonored. That has what a similar... We? I provided moral support. No. <laughs> Maybe the others made out better. One can hope. Did Caleb ever tell you his plans for this caper he's got in mind up in Topside? I think he just likes to say caper. 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 It's a fun word. It feels sneaky. Also, <laughs> you two stay out of Topside. So far, no I'm liking the characters. The Come on. Well, I'm here. What are we? Oh, I hit square. Oh, I hold square. So I wasn't paying attention. What was the play about? Um, Kalthus surrendered to Sandrak, and then he burned all their magni. Alive. Well, that's not nice at all. What kind of message does that send? It's pretty rude, if you ask me. That, uh, that I'm the evil kind. That Sandrak really wants you to think he's capital E evil. I doubt he thinks that. You cannot think it. And still be it, Luna. Which is kind of scarier. The tyrant of Rashad. See? Let's cut through the market. Sure. But let's keep an eye out for the constables. Wow, I can jump high. The market seems kind of dead tonight. There's talk of a bunch of airships coming into dock. Some hivers probably think they can make easy money unloading cargo. Maybe that's what we should have done instead of stealing from the hat guy. He was a bust. <laughs> By any metric, a man with a hat indicates a perfectly respectable mark. That sounds made up. <laughs> okay, I'm actually really enjoying this cheesy dialogue. It's actually... It's not that bad. Then again, we already know that I don't mind cheesy. Tell them. 
are you gonna tell them? Maybe, I don't know. Feels late for it now. You made it late. Because I hate goodbyes. Sure. I get that. Okay, against all sorts of lore entries, but I'm not necessarily sure what, because we've only talked to her so far. Maybe it's for like the place we're in or something like that. Oh. What's up? Uh, you're in no hurry to get back. No. You're thinking how much you're going to miss this garbage heap. Please. Would you? Don't call my home a garbage heap. <laughs> I don't want to spend my life living above a bottomless hole in the ground, Jack. We don't technically know if the wound is totally bottomless. All signs <laughs> point to yes. They'll be okay, Luna. I'll watch over them. We I've got an idea. Okay. Ooh, glowy bits. I like glowy bits. Okay, I need to get used to this whole square thing. Target practice. Why not? It's our civic duty as citizens of the Seren Underbridge. It's janitorial work. Probably would have made more money clearing off these large barnacles than we did at that play. Fair. You're all about duty right now, aren't you? Nice. You'll make a good soldier. I hear they give better uniforms to the lightless that can summon a little magic like this. There's a war, Jack. It's not about the uniform. Or maybe it's better boots. Cheese, Jack. Wait, what? Soldiers get to eat real cheese. Boots are just extra. Rashan's got no idea what's coming. Make corporal, I can even buy land. The whole farm just full of boots. Look, I know I keep saying I get it, but I don't. Not really. You're the first person I've met that actually wants to fight in the Everwar. No one escapes the draft, Jack. They do all the time. You're not even going to try. Besides, I don't want to fight in the Everwar. I want to fight for Lucian. Exactly the same thing? Just... Shut up and shoot. I gotta say that they're a little over-expressive, but I like the facial expressions. They're very, like, expressive. I know that's kind of stupid to say, but it's just like, you know, some games they have where, um, oh, whatchamacallit. I'm having a really hard time aiming. It's like too sensitive and not sensitive enough. I might have to adjust that. But anyways, you know, there's some games that I've played where it's just, like, they way overdo it with facial expressions, where it's, like, you know, an uncanny thing, like Sonic Adventure 1 level of overexpression. But then I've seen others where it's just, like, their mouths don't even move or anything, or their eyes don't move or whatever, and it's kind of, like, okay, they look blank. So, it's kind of nice to have at least somewhat expressiveness, you know what I mean? to fight in the Everwar, where do you think they'll end up sending you? Who knows? Maybe I have just enough magic not to be considered lightless, and I'll have a say in where they send me. A Magnus gets a say. Probably. No offense, but what we do is kind of like pew pew pew. A Magnus <laughs> is like pow bing. Any I mean, more things it's to destroy? Not even a contest. <sighs> yeah, some magic might as well mean no magic, as far as the Magnet are concerned. Ooh, treasure. No, blow it up. Nice. But anyway, so far I'm actually pretty intrigued with the game so far. The the, the characters are likable. The story seems interesting. Good graphics. I was a little worried because, you know, EA can sometimes be hit or miss on their stuff. And I saw a lot of people were really concerned because as being an EA title, they were waiting for some sort of, you know, problems. But so far, it's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a little glitchy. But it's also the first day, so. Patches are probably bound to come in. You know, everything he cooks tastes vaguely like regret. <laughs> Ooh, just ran right into her. Jack! Whoa! No love for the boss? Come here. Are you leaving us? You turn 16 in the morning, and that's when the soldiers fear you into the army because Jack said life is unfair. Or you could ignore the draft like a normal person. Happy birthday, no one tells me anything. How'd you score? Oh, 
We're officially the worst street thieves in Saren. Hopefully Caleb redeems us. <sighs> Dug this out the back of Troy's place. I guess we can act like it's cake. Oh no, you're not eating that. Shoo. Sure. Probably wise. The stew's almost ready anyway. Grab us some tubers from up top, Jack. Sure thing. Tubers? Let me know when Caleb gets here. I've got something I want to tell you all. Like that you're leaving us. Shut up, you. Okay, is it just me? Is there like some serious motion blur going on like in those cutscenes? Because there's like, you know, there's not severe motion blur doing this. But whenever the characters move really quick or anything, it's like they, they, they blur, which I don't know if that's actually supposed to be happening. That's actually got me curious now. Um, okay, no, uh, there we go. Is there a motion blur? Uh, this is all difficulty. Oh, we can change the difficulty anytime. Um, clip the mode. Yeah, I don't think there is, like, a motion blur thing. Is there a uh, clip mode camera shake, camera bob? Yeah, no, there isn't. Hmm. Yeah, that's a little weird. I don't know why there's like this weird blur effect, but I guess it is what it is. What was that that I passed by at the door? Oh, it was <laughs> the door handle. I thought it was one of those circle indicator things. I was like, oh, what's that? Uh, let's see. Grab you. Um, we actually have quite a bit of stuff here. Oh, um, ooh, chest. Ah, that's what I was looking for. I thought I saw something. Awesome. Hey, we got one gold coin. Okay, I thought I was supposed to be grabbing tubers, but I guess I'm supposed to be talking to you. Oop, what's this? An enlistment contract. Okay, I actually want to read that. What's that about? I, Luna Underbridge, born in the city of Saren, do hereby acknowledge to have volunteered at this 20th day of the month of swords, 1039 PA, to serve as a soldier in the Light's Army for an initial period of 12 years, unless sooner discharged by the proper authority. Ooh. Yeah, we could always read a lot of these later. I'm not gonna like go through them all now. Okay, Luna, what's going I on? I told him. I did not. Well, something's got them all riled. Look, it's not like it was hard to figure out you're leaving. You're packing bags. You're crossing out days on the calendar. You're reading big, fat, official-looking books of what is it this time? The officer's manual of lights, army regulations. See, no way that gave away the store, right? <sighs> what are you thinking? Would you rather fight a hundred-foot-tall crab? Or 100 one foot tall crabs. Did I probably make 100 wood foot tall, most likely. You should say probably 100. Wait, a Vecchi crab or a crab crab? Don't overthink it. But Vecchi's are super aggressive. It's a fight. I don't know. If it's not about killing 100 regularly dispositioned crabs, I don't want any part of it. <laughs> Idiot. Look, I'm seriously innocent. They just figured it out. Yeah, I know. I just don't want to know that they know. Not yet. I'm sure we'll all act surprised when you finally tell us. I'm gonna. Just, just let me know when Caleb's back. I'll do it all in one big go. Um, Bab sounds pretty sad. Babs is going to miss you. It'll be good for her. She'll be in charge before you know it. Already acts like she is. She's a natural. Fife has a guilty look. Because he's eating us out of house and home. All those apples you nicked yesterday? Gone. Those were supposed to last a week! They lasted an hour. Caleb's out late. I approved it. He's a good earner. Something's been really off with him lately. He's just impulsive. He'll grow up. You all will. So what's in that book of yours? Lights Army Regulations, duh. Sure, but like, the worst one. You have to wear a surprising number of reflective belts. <laughs> what? I mean it. Maintaining the grounds at the keep? Reflective belt. Directing constructs to clear the roads? Belt. 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 I didn't expect the Everwar to be so safety first. Or so polite. I'm going to have to learn like 20 different salutes depending on Magnus officer ranks and the color of magic they use. Unless it's a foreign dignitary, then it's a weird kind of ancient curtsy. You, you you know it's just going to be trenches and spell smoke, right? Night blades hacking away at everyone. Yeah, probably. You should keep quiet about being from Saren. What do you mean? The Lucians. They don't really like us. 
Only because we constantly say that Saren isn't really part of Lucium. But it's not. Seen a map lately? Maps don't count. All right, they, they just do that so they can conscript us into the Light's army. Just don't say anything, okay? Saren is home. It's a ramshackle wonder world built by the lost, the low, the lightless in the margins. Hanging above the wound with all the defiance her forebears passed on to their children. There's no finer city in Lucium than Saren, rickety in everything but faith. That's what I'm going to say, and you can't stop me. So, learn anything new about the Magni in your book? Just that Magni don't have to actually read it. What, like they have their own book? Wouldn't know. That's a different world from ours. The only time the regulations mention the Magni is when it's about how to do exactly what they say because they know best. Psh, you're probably smarter than half of them. Magic can't conjure wit. Ben Tilly used to say that. Before, you know, she mysteriously disappeared. Alright, see you at dinner. You bet. Okie dokie. Look out the window, I guess? Oh, I'm supposed to go get the tubers now. I guess I was supposed to talk to her first. This place is really cool looking. Ooh, can I open that chest? No, that's not an openable chest. Ah, are tubers like onions, I'm guessing? Jack, just remember to be super supportive of her when she tells everyone at dinner. Oh, no, I was supposed to go downstairs. Okay, I was like, I thought it was telling me to grab from that box. I was like, but isn't that what I just grabbed? Wish, 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 wish. Okay, we're here. Awesome. Happy birthday, Luna. I hit it big tonight. Think fast. Your present, such as it is. What's that in it? Pentasad. No shit, I mean the swirly stuff. Looks like snow. What's snow? I don't know, wintertime shit. They say it's in Calthus all the time. Looks pretty as all. Oh! Caleb! Well, yeah. I'm sorry. Move your hand. Let me see. Constable got a lucky shot. I'll be... Ah! Oh, damn it, Jack! It's not good. Did they follow you? You got yourself hurt over this thing? Careful, Caleb. Your guts are split. Why didn't you... I didn't want to ruin your birthday at all. That's dumb. Jack, come on. We need medicine. I've got an idea. Explain on the way. You guys, watch him. Get the rags and the water, and don't let him sleep. You know how to do this. We'll be quick. So, what's the plan? I'm still making it up, but I'm pretty sure it's this way. You're making it up? <laughs> it's gelling. Have faith. Caleb's gonna be all right. Okay. Ooh, treasure. Thank you. Ow. Okay, so we take this. The nobleman buying all the housing in the East Nets and Harrow's Edge. That's the mark. That's, uh... That's the they'll kill you kind of place, Luna. Noble means rich. Rich means magic. Magic means... What? I don't know. Healing crystals or something. Drugs from Topside. I mean, I don't have a better idea. Okay, so very no, high stakes. This, this is smart. They say he's old. He'll have all kinds of medicine. It's a good play. I really just want to collect as much of this as possible while we can. Should it'll come in handy. You're saying something you're not saying. It's just... This kind of thing comes naturally to you. Like, it's so natural, you didn't even know what our plan was gonna be when we headed out, and now, bam! Here's how we're getting out of this. You're going to do great when I'm gone, Jack. I promise. Yeah. 
I don't know, so far she seems like she really knows what she's doing. <laughs> and that we really rely on her. But hey, here's hoping some of it rubbed off on us, right? I don't know why, but this is like giving me serious like fable vibes, the opening to that game, you know? Those are lights on me, soldiers. Your new best friends. Funny. Looks like they're in a hurry. What do you think they're doing here? I don't know. It's weird. Over there. Oh, we are Stop really going far away. Are we That's gonna be able to get goes. back in time? Huh. Okay then. Game face, Jack. Yep. Okay, zipline it is. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Uh, on your bare hands, rope burn. Ow. No I don't know what any of this stuff is. What color is life magic? Life magic? Look, I don't know. I think it's green. Just look for green. I see lots of blue. Okay, I really want to shoot you. Nope. Okay, I should be quiet. Okay, good. Square is reload. I was wondering if it was. Um, that's... Ooh, scroll. Letter of warning. Okay, now that's got me concerned. Operation Burn Bridge is a go. All of and sympathizers advised to leave Saren immediately. Oh. Uh-oh. Um, I think something's about to go down. That's giving me very, very bad vibes. Okay, nothing in this hallway. Check this hallway, and then we'll go upstairs. It's a little weird that there's no one here, and it looks kind of like, not necessarily ransacked, but like, people have left, if that makes any sense. Not sure if that makes sense. See lots of purples, blues, more blues. Red. Ah, green. Oh, hey, check it out. Okay, secret chamber. Oh, That's shit. you didn't say he was a Magnus. Do you know how to work a sigil? No, you don't either. Details. Just open it or whatever. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Um, behind it? Okay, it's not giving me the icon to be able to press it. Oh, I gotta shoot it. Yeah, that worked. Let's grab and go, grab and go. Come on. Grab and go. It is not working. There we go. That was weird. Is that your definition of being careful or. Whoops. What are we gonna do with it? Wiggle it at Caleb? Maybe. Wh what do you mean, maybe? Uh oh. Shit! Let's get out of here! Run! Come on! Oh, okay. I thought we'd fight back. Whoosh, down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. I'm sprinting, I'm sprinting, I'm already sprinting. Uh, just for us? Saren's being attacked! I told you something was going down. Aaron. It, it, is that? It's Rashawn. Sandrak's attacking the city. We have to get back to the others. Come on. We've got to get home. Oh dear. Okay, good. I can't sprint anywhere now. Awesome. Run. Just follow her. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. I hope. I was going to jump up there, but for some reason... Oh, I can double jump? Oh, well that's, that's something new. Haha, <laughs> I beat you. Uh, maybe you can go first? I... Yep, thank you. Because <laughs> you seem to know how to avoid all bad stuff. Oh. That's... Yep, I am. Learned my lesson the last time. Don't want them hitting me. We've got to get back! Uh, they are right behind you. Luna, you don't really... I keep running into her. Luna, you gotta speed up, girl. Come on. 
Oh, seriously, it's gonna make me go to this side. He's right behind us. I can hear him. Grab and go, grab and go. There's a chance they're not dead. They know what to do in a raid. We made them practice. You did? I made jokes the whole time. I feel guilty later. <laughs> Are you all right? Right. Right behind you. Almost there. It's just up ahead. And we still gotta figure out how to use the thing and get out of here. I, uh, I, I don't know what to do. It's shock. Don't let it in. How are you already a soldier? I'm just acting like I figure they act. You aren't done here, asshole! What are you doing? Just run, Jack. It's okay. No! Don't! Much stronger. What is going on? Don't know, don't care, just keep shooting. I really wish I knew if there was like a dodge button or something, but I don't think I'm supposed to do anything like that. Oh, this is cool. That was intense. They have names for what you are. An unforeseen. A candle of Shaled. A child of the rivers. Lucky. In this case, yes. The next time it happens, it might kill you. We're driving the Rasharnians back from Saren. But you aren't safe here anymore. They'll hunt you down. You'll need help. Jack. You'll need help, Jack. I'm Grand Magnus Kirkin of the Order of Immortals, Field Marshal to the Light's Army. You can add late to all that. Fine. I know who you are. Seen the posters. Join the fight.
So, Jack, are you going to? The power inside you, it comes from the ley lines. All magic in this world does. And those of us lucky enough to be able to catch that magic can make it do almost anything we want. Uh, okay, back up. This world? That's right. There's another under this one. The Shrouded Realm. That's where magic starts. Where the ley lines pour out from. Look at them, Jack. Try to see the web they make. Do I have to close my eyes or something? Uh, no. No, not at all. Just look at that ley line there, and then let yourself see through it. Everywhere. Yes. They cover Avium like a net, bathing it in magic. This is why we fight in the Ever War. Politics, land, ideologies, all of that is secondary to the control of magic. Who's we? The Magni Orders. The armies those orders command. Now that the other kingdoms are either lost or scattered, only Lucian remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. And drag. More and more, he drives all forces into the enemy itself, casting them down into that bottomless hole under the watching judgment of the Pentacide. If it approves or not, it's never bothered to tell us. Almost out of time, Jack. Sandrak attacks us from all sides, and there is no place left to run. I know what you're about to say, but I'm not a soldier. I'll fix that. I love the fact that that, cuts, that whole cutscene right there was like an opening to a superhero show. I love it. That was actually really funny.
Okay, guys, we are actually going to go ahead and end this part here because we've been going for quite a while, but I wanted to get through the little prologue opening there. I want to see how far it would go because I had a feeling it was getting towards the end there because it was like something bad had to happen sooner or later. But yeah, that was a lot to take in. So he lost basically his entire adoptive family, basically, which is just horrible. And his friend that really wanted to be the soldier basically died trying to protect him. And it, well, we think she died because we still don't know if basically falling down there, if it's never ending or whatnot. But then again, it's probably a really long fall. So we don't know. But anyways, so yeah, I'm interested to play more. So far, I am hooked. This game is really fun. It feels very fluid. It's flashy. It's the story is very interesting. Like I'm engaged, which I'm like... You know, a lot of games lately, it seems like haven't had, like, super engaging stories, or the story seems very, like, baseline, but I'm like, it's actually really solid. The voice acting is great, the character designs are great, I actually really like the characters' personalities, they don't feel overdone or, like, really shallow, they feel really thought out. So, I'm interested to keep playing. So, I'm very excited for the next episode, and I hope you guys are too, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it, comment down below with your thoughts and opinions, I look forward to hearing from you guys, and remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!